know, after we empty this place out, are we gonna finally get to enjoy our New Year's Eve? I mean, I thought last year we said we were gonna take a trip someplace warm. One screw up, and I gotta spend the whole year reliving it. I'm getting a new partner. But you're getting a debt. Don't do me any favors. I can use a thermocharged batarang to bring that ice down on top of those thugs. If I thermocharge a batarang, I can use it to knock out that frozen security box. Damn cold. I must survive. Exactly where the money's stashed. You stole a cryogenic drill from Goth Corp. Well, yeah, but it ain't here. Big one said to sell off the parts. It's in pieces. Where are they? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Just don't drop me off a roof, okay? Maybe next time. Sir, your map has been updated with the locations of the components you'll need to rebuild the cryogenic drill. Thanks, Alfred. I'm on it. Much longer. We gotta be out in this stupid, stupid weather. Penguin said to wait for his. Ah! He's on me!
Assembled the cryo drill, but it requires some kind of superconducting fluid to operate. Ah, here it is, sir. An organic supercoolant used in an experimental lab run by one Victor Freeze. As in Mr. Freeze. It seems too great a coincidence to ignore. It says here that Ferris had Mr. Freeze's lab shut down. If he's a disgruntled employee out for revenge, then this is about more than just stealing weapons, Tech. Now, Freeze's lab is under quarantine. Some kind of accident. I'm on my way back to Goth Corp now. He's here to save you, sorry ass.
I'm in shock. to evacuate this lab of cryo vapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. charged batarang could break up the ice encasing that vantage.
I'm in shock, all right. I can't believe what I'm seeing. your ass so hard you'll be sitting down on your face. Hey, I'm just saying. Never hurts to keep our options open, you know? to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. There's more going on here than a simple accident. This security guard's skin has the same blue coloration as Freeze's. I should set up a crime scene. Data analysis indicates that he died from heat stroke, but the control room doesn't show signs of overheating. This is some kind of crystallized chemical residue. Traces lead back into the lab. here. I should scan for more evidence. Two men struggled. One of them ran out of the lab. That would be the dead security guard I found. prints are a match for Victor Freeze. He must have watched the security guard die. Freeze scavenged what he needed from various prototypes to build himself a super-cooled survival suit. built up inside the tank when ice sealed these outtakes. It appears that this guard was frozen by the cryovapors from the resulting explosion. The 
evidence suggests the guard was frozen before the tank ruptured, perhaps by Frieza's cryo cannon. These DNA traces are a match for Victor Freeze. Spatter analysis suggests a blunt impact. Someone assaulted Freeze with a weapon. The cannon was knocked over and fired. When the tank exploded, it released a plume of cryochemicals. The plume enveloped Freeze and the guard, but the shockwave knocked the assailant clear. I need to find that weapon. It may have evidence I can use to identify the assailant. DNA analysis confirms the gun was used to bludgeon Victor Freeze, and fingerprint analysis shows Ferris Boyle. It was Ferris. Something was wheeled through this fluid, possibly a gurney. The fluid must have frozen almost immediately for these tracks to have been preserved. secretly doing research on Huntington's Korea, but this is a cryogenic weapons lab. The test subject was Nora Freeze. Now I know what happened here. Boyle hired Victor to help advance the secret cryo-weapons program within Gothcorp. In exchange, Boyle agreed to devote Gothcorp resources to finding a cure for Nora's Huntington's. But Boyle was more interested in how Victor had managed to put Nora into cryostasis. When Victor realized that Boyle had no intention of following through on their deal, he decided to do the Huntington's research himself. But Boyle didn't like that. The cryochemical cocktail altered Victor's metabolism, as well as the guards. Boyle escaped ahead of the plume and had the lab quarantined. Victor survived, but he knew that leaving the supercooled lab would kill him. So he built himself a suit and utilized an organic supercoolant to keep his core temperature sub-zero. All this violence. He's just trying to save his dying wife. The supercoolant Victor uses in his suit is the same fluid I need for the cryo drill. the evidence I've gathered on Boyle's crimes. I'm sorry, Master Bruce. I know you had high hopes for what Ferris could do for Gotham. That doesn't matter now. Victor's plan was never to kill Boyle. He needs Boyle's security access to get his wife out of Gothcorp. That's all he wants. And now, you're going to stop him? I have to. And are you still going to need that gurney? I am. But not for Victor. I'm freezing it! 
You, you're gonna get me on this damn iceberg. You're good right where you are. But, but you can't leave me here. I'll freeze to death. Not my problem. Oh, so you come back to gloat, have you? Oh, I'll hang you with that bloody cape. You hear me? Come on, Batman. Uh, you got a phrase, yeah? Name it. It's yours. Thank you. 